Did you know that the first thing you should do to your router after you set it up in your home network is to change the password for its settings? Believe it or not, there's actually a good reason for this. In today's episode from Network From Home, I'm gonna walk through the procedure of how you can go about changing the password for your router settings. And on top of that, I will explain why this is such a vital step for your home network. Okay, so the first thing we have to do here, if we're going to be changing the password for our router settings, is we need to make sure that we have a couple things in place. Number one, we need to make sure we have a mobile device on hand that has an internet browser. This could be a tablet or an iPhone or even your laptop. The second piece we need is we need to ensure that this mobile device is connected to your router whether it be wirelessly connected to one of your router's Wi-Fi networks or directly connected to the router with an ethernet cable. As long as we have those things in place, we can jump right into the procedure. The first thing we need to do is we need to get to our router settings page. The easiest way to do that is by typing in the IP address of your router into an internet browser. If you're not sure what the IP address of your router is, here's a little trick you can use if you're working off of a computer. I'm on a Windows 11 system here, but all you need to do in this little search bar is type CMD. That will open the command prompt. And from there, you can just type in IP config, IP config, and hit enter. Okay. The next thing that pops up here that we want to look at is default gateway. This will be the IP address of your router. As you can see for me, the IP address of my router is 192.168.0.1. Chances are this will be the IP address of your router as well. Alternatively, this is usually listed on a sticker on your router itself. It will either be a website you can go to or the IP address of your router. So with this information in hand, let's open up an internet browser and type in this IP address. Okay, so we have a browser open here. Let's type in 192.168.0.1. And as expected, here is the login page for my router settings. Now for my particular router, I have a TP-Link router. At this stage, when I first set up my router, it prompted me to set up a unique password for my router settings. So this is great. If you're accessing your settings for the first time and you have a TP-Link router, just go in and select a unique password that you won't forget for your router settings. Otherwise, if your router comes with a default username and password, then you're going to need to enter that information here and then change the password for your router settings once you get to the next screen. If you're not sure what your router's default username and password is, Again, this is information that you can usually find on the sticker on the router itself. For now, I'm going to continue the steps that I would need to follow in order to change the password for my router settings, just so you get an idea of where you need to go to make these changes on your router. Okay, here we are. We've made it into my router settings. One thing I wanna mention right off the top here is that depending upon the make and model of your router, this interface will look a little bit different for you. But with that being said, getting to the password for your router settings should follow these similar steps. So in order to get to my router's password, I first need to go to the advanced settings tab up here at the top. From this page, the next thing I need to do is scroll down on the left hand side here. These are all headers for groups of settings for my router. But where I'm looking is I am looking for system tools and then administration. As you can see right here, account management. Here's the opportunity where if I have a default password for my router settings, I can go ahead and change it. So let's say the old password was admin. I can now change it to whatever I want. So there, I've gone ahead and changed my password. I can go ahead and click save, and that will then be the new password to access my router settings. A couple of things I wanna mention here really quickly. 
The first is that for the password for your router settings, you wanna make sure this is something that is unique to you that you won't forget. Because if you end up forgetting what this password is, you'll probably have to reset your router to its default settings in order to log back into it. That's the last thing you wanna do if you've made unique customizations to your router. The other thing you wanna make sure of here is you wanna make sure this password for your router settings is not the same as the password for your Wi-Fi networks. The reason for this is that the password for your Wi-Fi networks will be stored on any device that's connected to your Wi-Fi network. In other words, anyone will be able to go and see that password at any time, and that might be a common password that they try if they're trying to get into your router settings. If you don't believe me that a device stores the Wi-Fi password of all the Wi-Fi networks it's connected to, I've actually made another video that I will link to up above that explains exactly how to see this. It's really quite scary, but it's just another reason why you don't wanna have your Wi-Fi network password to be the same as your router settings password. It goes without saying, you should be the only person that has access to change your router settings because of the damage that it can do if it gets in the wrong hands. If your router comes with a default password and you don't change it to a unique value that only you know, this is a huge security risk for your home network. The reason for this is if you keep a default password for your router, you'll be able to look this value up online. I actually encourage you to do this. Go ahead, Google common router default passwords, and you will see a list. There are websites dedicated that show the make and model of routers, along with the default password that comes with them. What's scary about this is that if you have a default password for your router settings, all someone needs to do is connect to your Wi-Fi network, and then they'll be able to hack into your router settings. They'll have a good idea that your router is at 192.168.0.1 as the IP address. Then they'll get to your router's login page and be able to type in that default password. This will give them access to your router settings where they can download malicious software onto your router, where they can change different configurations to make your router run poorly, or they can configure your router so that they can control it at any time from a remote location. These are all things that put both your devices and your home network in general at risk. That's why it's worth it to take a few minutes, go into your router settings and change the password to a unique value. All right, hopefully that was quick and easy enough for you. That's all you need to know in order to change the password for your router settings. If you found this video useful, please give it a like so it gets shared with others. One thing I'd also encourage is that if you have any comments about either the topics of my videos, the way I present this information, I would love to get your feedback in the comments section. I'm always striving for improvement, so any feedback you have would be greatly encouraged. Lastly, if you like the way that I'm doing things, you like the topics and the way that I'm delivering this information, please subscribe to this channel. I'll be continuing to make similar content down the road here, and you're welcome to come along for the ride. As always, thanks for checking out this episode from Network From Home, and we'll catch you on the next one.